Hey guys, Eric Christensen from Chandler Physical Therapy here, and today we're talking all about dizziness and vertigo. Um, it's vertigo season. Uh, it seems to be that here in Arizona, when we get weather changes with the monsoons coming in, I get a ton of cases of vertigo rolling in, and not a lot of people know that physical therapists treat vertigo very, very frequently. And it's something that we can treat pretty quickly, and it's very effective. So when we look at vertigo, we are looking at three different systems coming together to give you a sense of balance. And we've got our visual system, which is kind of how your eyes can track and focus. You've got your inner ear, which most people will think of when they think of vertigo, they think of we got inner ear stuff, so that's pretty correlated. And then we've got something we call proprioception, which is kind of where your joints are at in space. And all three of those come together to give you your sense of body position and balance um, in this world. And if any one of those are off, we might have calibration issues, which then can lead to imbalance or dizziness. True vertigo is defined as a sense of spinning. Um, a lot of people will say they have vertigo, but when you can kind of get down to the nitty gritty, they're like, well, I just feel like I'm kind of off or I feel like I'm kind of drunk or I'm disconnected. Um, that's not true vertigo. And that's probably more of something we call sensory conflict, which is where two or more, more of those systems are mismatching. So for the instance, the visual system, we have something we call smooth pursuit. Um, and that is the ability of our eyes to track a moving object smoothly. Often this gets impaired. And what happens is that rather than tracking the object smoothly, the eyes are going to jump to try and guess where that object is gonna be based off its movement path. And if that object isn't where you guessed accurately, your eyes are gonna snap back to that creating a moment of imbalance and kind of guessing where you're at in space. Um, that combined with either the inner ear, um, the inner ear can then have a couple things go wrong with it. It can have too much pressure. The inner ear is filled with fluid and hair cells and the fluid flows through these things called canals and we have three of them and those three canals then tell us where our head is moving in different planes and how fast it's moving as well. So if we have some sort of impairment, either a canal is blocked or we have too much pressure, that can cause some imbalance with that. Or we have something we call BPPV, which is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And that is where we have these hair cells in there that kind of drift back and forth. And when the fluid moves one way or the other, they get pushed back and forth. And that tells the brain which direction you're heading and how fast. And sometimes at the end of those crystals or end of those hair cells, we have crystals. And those crystals can sometimes break off and they start rolling around in those canals, which makes the water move and makes those hair cells move. And when that happens, the brain gets a signal saying, hey, I'm moving this direction, even though you're not, and gives you that sense of that the world's spinning. That is true vertigo. And then lastly, we have the kind of proprioceptive part of it, that, that joint position in space. If we're really stiff or tight, and we don't have full range of motion at our joints, then you're not getting full information about where your body's at in space. And so that gonna get, lead to impaired maybe balance and people say, oh, my balance isn't really good, but maybe it's just your ankle's really stiff and it's not getting full information about how it can move and where it can move. And so often when these monsoon storms come in and when we start to see these cases of vertigo come in, it's usually more a case of sensory conflict and what I see a lot of these days is that somebody has visual tracking that's a little bit impaired and you probably won't notice it until something else is missing. Um, but the, the barometric pressure changes then mess around with the ears a little bit and we get this kind of mismatch. Uh, and I, I tell all my patients, like it's like when you're sitting in your car and the car beside you is driving forward, um, but you're stopped and you slam on your brakes because it feels like you're going backwards. And that sensory conflict is like, your eyes are seeing the car move, your body's saying, hey, wait, I'm not moving. And so it kind of panics and it has this kind of mismatch at it. And so if you are struggling with some sort of vertigo, I'd like to invite you to come on in, get it checked out. It's something we can easily fix. Um, we do have free discovery visits. So if you wanna visit in the link with the description here, um, you can sign up for one of those and we can get you checked out. And as always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, I'd love to answer them. And hope, to, hope you have a vertigo-free monsoon season.